What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I think today in this video, we need to go through this article about, um, you know, CZ Binance and what he put out um, when it comes to the Lunic burn. It's really interesting to see all of the different sides that are being taken um, when it comes to this. And mainly the community is siding with the fact that we need to see burns. You know, I'm siding with the fact we need to see burns. I have my own uh, thought about how this should be, um, you know, pursued. But I guess he has his own uh, plan, but I'm going to go through the plan and then give my reaction as to what that's all about and if that really makes sense. So uh, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can definitely follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. We're approaching 11,000 followers over there, which is absolutely amazing. And then also, if you guys want to check out the Patreon, I almost at 300, yeah, 300 subscribers over on Patreon. So if you want to go ahead and check that out and get some buy alerts, some sell alerts, some different, different stuff that come with different levels, feel free to check that out. And usually some weeks are a little bit more aggressive with the posts than others. Um, and if I have any buys, that's when I will make that. So people are always asking, you know, about the buy alerts and sell alerts. Um, I give out buy alerts and sell alerts on anything that I am buying. Um, and usually I do that because if people give out buy alerts and sell alerts on things that they're not buying, it, it's just, that kind of defeats the purpose of you giving out that alert, right? You want to be able to purchase those things and uh, make sure you get the gains and whatever, whatever the gains are, if they're long-term, short-term, whatever they are. So if you want to go and check out um, my Patreon, feel free to check that out. The link is in the description, but let's talk about this. So Binance Burn uh, or sorry, Lunic Burn and Binance. You're gonna have to bear with me because I, you know, have issues reading articles, especially on this screen. It's like super small. I might need glasses. But basically, um, within this article, uh, will Binance support Lunic Burn of 1.2 percent for every trade on Binance? Uh, he got asked this question in Twitter Spaces uh, yesterday, and I was on that Twitter Spaces. It seemed like a lot of the people that were gonna talk about Lunic after that question. Uh, came up from Vegas, um, seemed to have gotten brought down. Anybody that was going to talk about Lunic, they just didn't allow them on the stage. Um, but then there's, you know, those kind of people that you don't know who are going to talk about Lunic, and um, they end up bringing it up. I think they brought it up one more time, and um, I don't think he wanted to talk about it. I think he wants to talk about Lunic in more of a Lunic AMA, a Binance and Lunic AMA, which is supposed to be October 6th, but I'm not sure if that's a thing anymore. Um, but anyways, he was asked this, and he was basically asked uh, oh, a while ago um, about if he's going to support the Lunic burn, and he responded and said it needs to happen on chain first. And the way people took that comment is they looked at it as it was going to happen. You know, once the on chain happens, this was going to happen. And that's what he's getting at here. But what he's saying is that it, it wouldn't happen. So, or that it's not going to happen in, you know, his AMA he was talking about it. And, and again, he implied that it's not going to happen. So that's where it starts to get a little bit uh, tricky. So let's get into this section, taxes on centralized exchanges. We need to think about the, the game theory involved. Involved. Um, everyone may want all platforms and, and chains to burn 1.2% uh, at every transaction. People want to see supply decrease, but things uh, change when it, when it directly impacts their balance. Unless we can get uh, every centralized exchange worldwide to implement this, it will not work. So that's a part that I don't agree with, right? You don't need every single exchange to implement this worldwide in order for that to work. The reason being is exchanges hold certain amounts of liquidity. They hold a certain amount of, of position, certain amount of coins of that. Uh, Binance holding the largest where you're looking at, you know, 2.3 trillion or something like that. But as you go down the list, the reason why they have low trading volume in Lunic is not just because, um, you know, people are only trading on the upper tier platforms. It's because of the liquidity. It's because of the amount of coins that they have on those platforms. So most of the time, anywhere within like the top 90%, that's where you can expect you have to see all of those implement the 1.2%. Um, so that's something that you have to think about. Um, so saying that it will not work uh if no exchanges implement this worldwide i'll get into this in more detail in my next video or my uh probably will be two videos after this um but yeah i want to talk about that a little bit more in depth 
Um, if Binance charges 1.2% per transaction, I don't think, and we gotta, we gotta look at that, think, I don't think we would burn very much because most Luna traders would go to other exchanges that don't have the burn. Um, I could be wrong. So he's, he's admitted that he could be wrong. But the way that you got to look at this is the community thinks otherwise. The community wants the burn. There are people that will literally go there just for the burn. And he's sort of right, right? You will have, you have millionaires um, and billionaires and whatever that will decide not to uh, implement the burn or decide, um, you know, to go to other places so that they can um, not see the 1.2% burn. And if they do buy it for 1.2% burn over on, let's say, Binance, and then they transfer it over to whatever platform they can transfer it over to, adding liquidity to that platform by trading a million coins in there, um, or not a million coins, but a million dollars within there. Um, then that could be an issue. So let's get into the rest. So uh, so we will listen to our community. We will do the following. Step one, um, we will implement an opt-in button for people uh, to opt-in to pay 1.2% uh, tax on their Luna trading. Now, I don't think that's a great idea, but let's continue and then I'll explain. Uh, when the opt-in accounts reach a holding of 25%, um, of the total Lunic held on Binance. This is total Lunic held on Binance, not total volume or anything like that, or total um, Lunic in general, because obviously they only have 2.3 uh, trillion on there, not the full 7 trillion. We start to charge 1.2% tax for all opt-in traders when, the trade, when, when they trade Lunic. This prevents people who don't hold Lunic to, uh, to affect the, the votes. Um, it also gives the, the early adopters peace of mind that they are not the only few paying the 1.2, paying the extra 1.2%. Uh, the tax only kicks in at 25% quorum. Um, this, this should encourage them to opt in more easily. I'll give my opinion. We'll, we'll definitely get into that. When the opt-in traders, uh, or sorry, when the opt-in traders reach 50%, of the total Lunic trading volume on Binance, we will roll out the the 1.2% uh, trading tax for all Lunic trading. This prevents large Lunic whales uh, who may hold large amounts but don't actively trade uh, to influence the votes. Um, if the threshold uh, for step two cannot be reached within a month of of the completion of step one or falls back below the threshold in the future, we will remove the opt-in feature to keep, uh, to keep to a simpler user experience. So this is, I, I don't, I don't like this, right? The reason why I don't like this, I, I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, Oh, we're given the option to do this. Is it really an option? If it's kind of unattainable, you can say that it's attainable, but a lot of the volume comes from bigger like whales that don't want to see the 1.2 percent some whales do want to see it but a lot of whales just want to gain what they want to gain they want to gain 30 percent or 100 percent, and that's it and that's a big problem because if you have if you're looking at the volume versus um you know the the holdings on on uh binance it's definitely a, a different situation, right? Because you have a lot of retail traders that hold quite a bit, but then whales that control a lot of bit, or a lot, especially the volume during a normal day, um, especially the volume during a downtime in the market. So if they're controlling majority of the volume, we have an issue here. If retail traders that that believe in Terra Luna Classic, and a lot of them are on other platforms, some on KuCoin, some on uh, PancakeSwap, some on MetaMask, whatever, and you have all the people on Binance, you might have a ton of whales that's over there on Binance and, you know, we don't have a lot of retail traders. And if you do, people are already holding and they're not going to sit here and and move the position around because they want it to reach 50 percent. You think because you're holding 100 million that you're going to sell your 100 million? Probably not. You're not going to move that 100 million. So you're going to see retail traders have less of an impact in this. So it's definitely more of an issue than people think. You're saying that. 25%, we can definitely reach there, right? The opt-in feature, right? But then when it comes to the volume, that's the difficult part. And that will probably always be the difficult part. So step two will probably be reached. I, I agree that it will be reached. So we may not have a problem with that last feature where it's uh, if step two cannot be reached within a month of completion of step one, um, then I think, 
I, I think we won't have that issue there. But it definitely is a, a big problem for me. I feel like it needs to be something different. Um, I feel like uh, I'll get into some detail in, a, in another video because right now it's already at 10 minutes and I don't want to talk your ear off. But um, that's the way that I feel about this. Um, hopefully we can like get something uh, to happen within this and we can see at least 25%, um, you know, burn off whatever, whoever's holding 25%. I can't do anything. I'm over in, um, I can't even access Binance. Uh, so I'm over in MetaMask, but still like I, I don't know what to do here because I can't do anything. It's not a vote for everybody that's a part of Lunic. It's a, uh, a vote for only the people that are on Binance and it sucks. And I hate that a lot right so anyways i'll probably explain a better proposal in my next video so guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you check out some of the links down below it does help out the channel and if you guys want to follow me on twitter follow me on patreon follow me on tiktok follow me on on instagram all of those different things we got all those links down in the description uh but i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you guys in the next video